and new at 10 tonight, honoring the memory of a local college student one year after he was killed in a hit and run. Dominic Dunn was riding a skateboard near Sheldon and Six Mile in Northville last year when he was hit by a car. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaket spoke with Dominic's family after the tragedy. Now he's catching up with them a year later as they work on a special memorial. It's been a long three days for Harrison Scott Foster, who departed his home in Chicago on his bicycle headed for Northville. Arriving in time for a warm welcome. He's a bit tired, but proud to have made it as a tribute to his best friend, the late 20 year old Dominic Dunn. Dunn, an incredible son, brother, and friend whose life was cut short by a hit and run driver on a Thursday night as he rode his skateboard near Sheldon and Six Mile. I kept asking for his protection. I would like look up in the sky and like ask for it, like make sure that he was protecting me. He thought of the idea because he always remembers riding his bike to our house. <laughs> before they had their license. So ever since then, you know, Dominic was just like his best friend and he said he wouldn't have had the friends he had if it wasn't for Dominic. As part of the effort to make a memorial to their son, the Dunn family is also working with the city and township to build a new skateboarding park on six mile between Sheldon and Beck. Funded by donations, it's a way to keep the young man's memory alive and help to keep others safe. We want to talk about him. He was here on this earth for 20 years, so we love talking about him. And it, when other people do stuff for him or about him, it's just really uh, nice to see. The youth of this area like needs like a safe place to like learn and practice like skateboarding, but also just like just a safe place in general. He always tried to push himself and his friends to be the best version of themselves, so uh, he'd be very happy. Dominic's parents are also expressing gratitude to all those who've sent a kind message or donated to help support the park. They do hope to break ground in spring. Simon Shaket, 7 Action News.